Go to, go to Deuteronomy 32, 16. That's a new God. That's what I want. Um, they are uh, new gods was formed in new earth. That's probably what I want. I think that's it. Yep. Is that it? Yep. Let's see. Let's talk about Islam. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 17. Bring it out. A sacrifice unto devils, not to God. What did the Bible just say? They sacrificed unto devils, not to God. Right. To gods whom they knew not. Uh -huh. To new gods. What did the Bible say the Israelites did? They sacrificed unto new gods. Islam is a new religion. No, it came 600 years after the death of Christ. That is That's what the Bible no, says. No, really did. The only they sacrificed the unto devils. They ain't you Islam people over there serving over 300 gods no. before Israel. Yes, you did. We got the book. We, they sacrifice unto devils, not to God. To God they knew not. To new gods that came newly up. So the Bible Moses is telling the Israelites through prophecy that they would do what? Serve new gods. Did that not happen to our people? Yes, it did. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. We're going to stay in the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Moses. Let's see what it says. Let's see what the Bible says. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. So the God of Israel told everybody else that they would serve new gods. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So now. I got one more for you. Go to Genesis now. Go to Genesis 22 and start at verse 1. Man, come on, bro. Jesus was the Israelite. So now, we can read that Hebrews chapter. He prayed just like Hebrews. No, the, is the is Islam stole our religion. Because it came after us. They try to they try to pray three times to Mecca. Where did they get that from? The Bible. Because Daniel, for one, prayed three times to Jerusalem. So we're not here to play with nobody. We're not here to play with you, brother. You don't have to be quiet now because now we perceive you don't have understanding. Genesis chapter 22 and verse 1. So now, the Islam, they come from what? Ishmael, right? Ishmael, that's where they come from, right or wrong? Ishmael, right? Ishmael, they don't even know that. The Arabs come from Ishmael, right? And the Arab religion is what? Islam. So now they come from Ishmael. Yes, it is. Bro. There's more Muslims in Africa than there is in the Middle East. What do you mean? Watch this. We're going to destroy Islam today. You haven't destroyed Watch. Watch. Islam. Watch this. Read this. This is from Babylon to Timbuktu. Page 45. When Muhammad was. Oh, oh listen good. Because you said that Muhammad was a prophet. Let's say. Let's see. When Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits, and idols. Stop! Oh, that was in what? Idolatry! We're reading from, I'm still reading from a book that speaks about Muhammad. Muhammad did what? Muhammad never worshiped an idol. The Arabs possessed 360 idols, one for each day of the year. Uh -huh. Muhammad was born 570 A.D. Oh, where was he born? 570 A.D. The Bible, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When was he born? 570 A. what? A.D. Christ had already walked this planet. That's right. So that means he was coming with a new what? Religion. That's right. right. In the years of Muhammad's life, he passed time as a shepherd boy. Hold up, Muhammad was a shepherd boy. So was Jesus. Peace we be must remember that many successful men have arisen in significant and humble conditions. Really? Watching the sun by day and stars by night left opportunity for Muhammad to com contemplate in solitude and reflect on the events of, of profoundness in the world. After Muhammad became a camel driver, what was Muhammad's occupation? He was a camel driver. He traveled to remote and intriguing lands. He led his caravans to per Persia, Syria, and Egypt. 
transacting business of the merchants of every kind. So he was going through and he was transacting business, right? On his business, uh, he in integrated them concerning, uh, wait, wait, wait. On his business trips, he met Jews. Hold up, hold up. On his business trips, he met who? On his business trips, he met Jews. He met who? Who are the Jews? Us. He met us. Christians and members of other sects. He integrated them concerning the tenets of their religion. What did he do? He integrated. He integrated them concerning the tenets of their religion. Uh -huh. He frequented the environments of the Jews. He did what? He frequented the environment of the Jews uh -huh. and their rabbis, mostly because they were merchants and an omnipresent ethnic group. Uh -huh. Because he could not read or write. Go ahead. His ears were attentive and keen to everything that the Jews related to him. He couldn't read and write, so everything that we said, he listened closely. Watch what else he did. Mohammed learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion. We did good. Mohammed learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion. So he extracted much? I was just trying to add to that. I want to Where did he get that from? Where did he get that from? He was just in agreement. Now he's like, where did he get that from? Where did he get it from? Get the book Babylon the Timbuktu. Mohammed learned. What is it? Um, um, Babylon Timbuktu. Mohammed learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion. The Bible says Muhammad, the, 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 the book that the scholars wrote, the book that the scholars wrote, who's speaking on your faith, Muhammad. Read. Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion and compounded it with his new religion. With his what? New religion. Muhammad had a new religion.